All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our hometown office hours. I'm Matt. I'll be your host today. We've got uh, Terry and Vera on the call, I think calling in as attendees today. So um, they'll be listening in, asking questions, answering your questions as they come in. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of things. I got a lot of things to cover. So um, I'd actually like to Vera, have you maybe join me as a panelist today? Okay, so let me pull you up. And uh, when Terry gets here, I want to do that for her too. So I think she may still be joining us. Can you hear me there, Vera? I can. Can you hear me? Okay, yep. Okay. Loud and clear. Sounds good. Okay, so a bunch of really exciting things to talk about today. I've got... I've been working on this idea all weekend that I want to tell you about for um, helping publishers sell more subscriptions. Um, I want to get to that very quickly, but the thing that's really on the schedule today that I wanted to make sure uh, to announce is the audio articles uh, free month. So for the entire month of November, um, if you sign up at any point, then you get one month of free articles from that point. Uh, free audio articles on your site. We've had uh, a ton of publishers take us up on this already. And, um, you know, just check it out. Uh, you know, for a sample, you can go to uh, this blog post on our site. Uh, you can also go to the audio articles page. And let's go ahead and uh, watch this video. It's been about a year, I think, since I made this. So um, let's go ahead and give it a watch uh, just for an overview of the feature. Audio articles are brought to you by our hometown web publishing. Bringing the new year with audio articles. A constantly changing world requires a constantly changing media platform and user interface. Today, news and media is consumed in ways that even just 10 years ago were unheard of. A major trend in all forms of media is the desire to take in content on the go. While mobile phones and tablets have made this possible, we're excited to build upon that principle with our newest feature, audio articles. With audio articles, every article posted on your website is converted into an audio stream that can be played back at the click of a button, allowing readers to consume their news in places they otherwise couldn't, at the gym, on the go, or when cooking dinner. Best of all, this functionality is built into your existing website. Readers won't have to download any software or third-party apps to use this feature. They just open a news article like they normally would and click the play button. Contact us at opsinourhometown.com to try audio articles today. All right. That's audio articles. So um, check out this page, uh, ourhometown.com slash audio dash articles. Ugh audio articles um it basically gives a summary of what was just said in the video uh the whole transcript is pretty much right there um, but then it just highlights the different benefits you know the convenience of being able to listen rather than read uh it's a huge benefit there's uh access accessibility issues that are dealt with here you know it makes it uh widely accessible to any reader uh coming to the site very easy to absorb the news this way um, there's a revenue opportunity tied to this. We can uh, deliver reports on the you know, performance uh, through our Matimo stats program. And uh, you can sign up for uh, a free trial. We'll, we'll, we'll do the premium trial for you. Uh, and then if you want to continue beyond that first month, it's just 75 bucks a month. And if you can you know, monetize this with an ad in that position, that should more than cover this. We have several advertisers or publishers doing that with uh, their advertisers. Okay, so that's uh, one feature I wanted to mention. <clears throat> it's on the schedule. Um, okay, and now, yeah, I want to pivot to a, a new topic, but sort of um, gently. So this is the Clark County Democrat, and we just turned on audio articles for them. So this is a brand new feature for them. I uh, just want to give a quick demo. This very short article, uh, just check this out. Mayor would sworn in. Roswood was sworn in as Grove Hill's new mayor Monday, holding the Bible are his daughters, Carson and Taryn. 
Municipal Judge Lamar Johnson administered the oath. See a story on the council meeting inside. Okay, so as a subscriber, I can listen to every story now. And then the, the story inside, it would be cool if we could link these articles uh, automatically. Um, I guess, actually, Terry, that's a quick question. So, like, those are two separate stories because one was on the homepage and had its own picture, I guess. And, and it had a, a, a jump in it. I'm just curious, like how production looks at that type of thing. Um, I thought I saw Terry was on. Hang on a second. Maybe not. Okay, maybe we lost her. All right, that's okay. We'll come back to that. Here's the second story. Wood presides at first council meeting as Grove Hills new mayor. Ross Wood was sworn in as Grove Hills new mayor Monday evening. Local attorney Lamar Johnson, the town's municipal judge, administered the oath. Okay, so that's the, the female uh, voice that you can use. Uh, we have the uh, female and male. Here's a sample. Audio articles are brought to you by our hometown web publishing. Okay, that's the sample of the premium female newscaster. Audio articles are brought to you by our hometown web publishing. That's the premium newscaster. Now, we can also do uh, just a standard audio article, which uh, doesn't use the newscaster function. It doesn't use a lot of the uh, machine learning and some of the subtle uh, features of the voice. So let's take a listen at the male standard. Audio articles are brought to you by our hometown web publishing. Bring in the new year with audio articles. A constantly changing world requires a constantly changing media platform. So it actually sounds quite good to me. There's just like small, very subtle things like um, with the newscaster, you have like breathing noises between sentences, makes it sound more realistic. Uh, other subtle differences. Here's Audio female. articles are brought to you by our hometown web publishing. Ring in the new year with audio articles. A constantly changing world requires a constantly changing media platform. See, I mean, that sounds quite good, even the standard level. So you can come in at 40 bucks a month if you want to try that. But for the trial, we're going to do everyone at premium. We just want you to see the best that we have to offer with this feature, uh, with all the bells and whistles. All right. So now the reason I wanted to just circle back and just uh, talk about that is because what we're doing at the Clark County Democrat is this new idea that I was working on this weekend. And I want to get your feedback, Vera. So if we could do something like this and help a publisher sell more subscribers, uh, sell more subscriptions to the website, just by going in there much more hands-on, like I, I almost call it like a digital subscription sales blitz. So it's not just like giving them tips on marketing, better or you know how to price their subscriptions and just like strategic things it's actually helping them sell um you know literally getting on the phone with um ex subscribers and you know trying to get them to come back just being much more aggressive and if we could use a feature like audio articles the idea here is that it's a new feature out of the clark county democrat so we have a reason to call all these subscribers. We have a reason to call current subscribers and uh, you know, just say hello, thank you for subscribing. Have you seen audio articles? Do you have any questions on it? You know, just like having this outreach that I don't think is happening at many newspapers. Based on your experience, Vera, I mean, I know you were at Trader's Guide, which was a free paper. I mean, but do you have any comments on that? I mean, because it seems like uh, and I don't know if you're able to jump on right now or if you're on the phone. Um, can you hear me okay? Or are you on the line? I can hear you just fine. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think about this opportunity maybe that our hometown could uh, you know, help publishers? Because we're going to start doing this at the Clark County Democrat because we have a special arrangement with them. Um, and we're going to do this at several of uh, Jim Cox's papers. Uh, just to increase subscriptions. But it's ba basically what I'm talking about is like kind of like a telemarketing service uh, would be a large part of it, you know, just uh, reaching out to ex subscribers. Um, do you think that we would, I don't know, do you see any opportunity there to possibly grow? Absolutely. I think it's a tremendous opportunity. 
We used to do that all the time. We would reach out to people who right. has expired or was due to expiring and right. say, hey, look, we've added this. You know, I, I think anything um, that could be marketable like this would be right. um, an asset to any paper. Right, right. Yeah, and I just think a lot of publishers, they just, um, they, they know they want to do it and, and they probably do do it, but if we can just do it more often, uh, you know, just supplement their efforts. And as the website designers, you know, we're kind of experts here. So my idea here is that for Clark County Democrat, we do a couple things. We start off by doing uh, weekly webinars, okay? And we advertise them on their website, okay? Because again, more background on this is we basically control the website. Um, we operate it and we, we uh, you know, collect all the subscription revenue, okay? So that's the arrangement. So like this is a, a one for us to start with and, and do our testing on because uh, we do fully control it and we can publish things on here. So we could run like an ad here um, or run an article on the site that talks about the webinar and hopefully we get people to come and then we can just uh, introduce audio articles. We can um, go through the functions of the e-edition. It's basically just like customer support. It's kind of like an office hours for the paper, um, but just, you know, focusing on the website, obviously not the print edition, but we'd look at the e-edition. Um, and so my idea is that this would basically be part of a sales blitz. So like we, you know, uh, for the Clark County Democrat, maybe for the next month, we do a weekly webinar. Uh, each webinar focuses on a different topic. We promote it like hell on the website. We can send out a newsletter to all the subscribers, get a lot of people to come. And, um, then we close deals right on that webinar. I mean, literally what we can do is say, um, create a coupon and say, uh, anyone on the webinar today, uh, you know, if you're not already a subscriber, you get a free month. If you are a subscriber and you're just learning more about the functions of the website, uh, you get a free gift subscription. So you can give it to any friend or family member uh, for a free month for them since you're already a subscriber. Um, things like that. And then we can also offer those same deals when we call people. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically the idea. <laughs> so I guess um, it looks like I thought we had Terry for a second. Terry, can you hear this? I'm curious what you think of this because um, basically what I'm going to be doing probably, uh, Vera, is doing a lot of these calls and working with Ashley, who um, does data collection for us, but she's also done a lot of cold calling. Um, I was curious, would you be open to trying, helping us with this possibly? Like I'm gonna just work with her today, I think this afternoon and just um, try to work out like the scripts, what we do when we call. But is this something that you think you could help us with? Absolutely. Yeah, I have experience in doing cold calling and uh, telemarketing. Yeah. Well, here's the cool thing. It's not even really a cold call. Like what we're going to be doing today is uh, I have this spreadsheet, which has got a ton of info. But this is uh, another thing that I think we can offer as a service or just as a recommendation. Um, pulling together data from multiple systems on the website is really powerful. So like what this is, <clears throat> is actually data from our newsletter system and member press the subscription system and it's combined. So we can see things like, okay, I wanna filter and show me just the people that have opened the last two newsletters and are an active subscriber. I can do something like that just with these filters. So yes, just the last, oh wow. So right there, uh, there's my list. And I could expand this to include expired subscribers and I think that would actually be a really good list to focus on. So just expired subscribers that open our newsletter from the Clark County Democrat every or for the last two weeks. But, you know, we could go back in time and look at more data. Um, but you see what I'm saying here? Like this is a, a way, this filtering and sorting tool is uh, a way to identify the hot leads that are worth our time to call 
or just email. You know, a personalized email is fine too, as long as it doesn't look like a newsletter. So um, we have everyone's email. We don't have everyone's phone number, but if they're an ex subscriber, we do have their phone number. So that is the cool thing. Okay. So what do you think, Vera? Would it be better to call? I, I mean, it seems like expired subscribers are like, they're a good population to try to call, you know, because they've been a customer before. We can at least find out why they canceled their subscription, you know, and maybe do something about it. Maybe they have a complaint. Um, but you see that that's what this system is. It's basically like this spreadsheet is a very simple CRM that I can, uh, you know, use to sell. So, that's the idea. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to be starting that this afternoon. Um, I'm going to be working with Ashley. She's going to be calling with me uh, on this list and I'll, I'll follow up with you if we, you know, want to expand our efforts. But um, I mean, there's a lot of calling to do ahead of us. <laughs> okay. So can I get some feedback? Can you guys hear me or not? I'm not I sure. can hear you. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Just want to make sure. So any feedback from you, Terry? So you're saying I'm really interested in your thoughts. Let's see. Unmute Terry. Can I unmute you? Okay. I'm not sure if she's able to join right now. Well, oh, she's just as a regular attendee. I thought yeah. you were... Oh, you, you can hear us? Yep, I can hear you. I, I had a hard time logging in. Gotcha. Really okay. Gotcha, no problem. Did you hear any uh, of this idea about calling uh, these ex-subscribers? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited about it. Like, I think it's a really good angle to take. The question is, like, how costly is it going to be to pay someone to call all these people and how many are going to convert? But you know, I think if we can identify signals like, you know, their activity on the newsletter and things like that, um, that, I, you know, just like I kind of help us filter and call the most qualified people first. Yeah, um, I think what you said about um, finding out why they let their subscription expire is a right. good point. Too. You know, right. if we need to troubleshoot anything or make the site better, that's, yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, if nothing else, this could be a service that is like um, outsourcing customer support for your website a little bit. So mm -hmm. like, you know, when you launch your site, maybe as part of the launch deal for an extra, you know, setup fee for this service, um, we'll basically hold these webinars, get feedback from people, we'll, we'll call them, um, we'll take a more active role, I guess. And uh, even if it doesn't, you know, it necessarily includes selling anything, but I think it will just, you know, by its nature, help sell. Um, yeah, generate some subscriptions. The one right. thing I, I really caution, though, is whenever I call a, a reader, yeah, I, I always ask the publisher's permission first, because eventually it's going to come back to them. Right. And we, no, we don't want them in a bad light. So I do usually ask the customer or the publisher first. Right, right. I got, yeah. I think uh, talking to Jim Cox about this makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, okay. So what else here? A any other feedback like that? So you, you've called subscribers when, like, they have a problem logging in or something? Yeah, Vera and I both will, but I always ask, you know, because usually it's somebody from the staff that'll call us and say, you know, hey, can you, but actually we kind of have a standing agreement with them. You know, if one of them, they send the readers to us. So if the reader says, you know, so-and-so told me to call you, then that counts as permission. You know what I mean? Right. But if we take right. it from a re directly from a reader, right. you know, they, they hit that have trouble logging in button, right. then usually ask the publisher. 
You know, is it okay if I call this person directly rather than responding? Well, I, to I think I think that definitely makes sense in the, in the case of most publishers. This one is a little bit different because the online subscribers are technically our customers. Like they're most, they're, you know, directly our customers. So uh, they're also print subscribers, however. So, I, I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of a, a tricky one. But I, I'm definitely, you know, going to talk to Jim about this because I want him to know what we're working on. And this is a, a longstanding agreement that we've had with them. But we've never really sat down and, um, you know, really proactively and just like figured out ways to – aggressively sell subscriptions. And that's basically what this is. It's just stepping it up. Um, and you don't even need to go all in and start calling people. You know, you could just use this system to send them personalized emails. All right. That's perfectly fine. And that may be the way that we want to start today. Um, you know, I could just have Ashley just send them a coupon. You know, everyone that qualifies, that's an ex-subscriber, send them a coupon for a free month. Um, and then let's measure how many people take us up on it. You know, there's so many cool things we can you could also follow up on that, you know, right. Um, well, we can, you, email them, maybe we email them today, see how many people follow up with email. And then we call those same people next couple. Right. Days. Yeah. Because chances are maybe the, the coupon goes to their spam or something like that. We could just follow up and say, Hey, did you receive that coupon? Absolutely. Absolutely. And when you get them on the phone, I mean, think about this. We talked about being an outsourcing uh, agency for customer support. Like that's part of what sales is. It's just helping a person understand the product and know how to use it. So um, the rep, they could, uh, part of their objective could be to get them to log in and just claim the coupon and walk them through the steps. Right. right. They, they yeah. offer to do that. So they give them the coupon and say, you got five minutes. We can get you set up right now. Get them in there, you know, because right. um, especially if it's an older person, they struggle with it. The coupon doesn't work the first time. It's like, forget it. Right. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. care. But if you but get we them offer to do it for them, if they have a hard time, like if they're um, not well, tech savvy at all, we can offer that's to a do brilliant, it. brilliant question. But here's the thing. This is what I'm thinking about is like, I think if we're going to do these coupons and we're going to spend time doing this. We need to be, it can't just be a free trial, end of story. I think we've got to do it like Netflix. Now, this requires, it's a higher activation energy to get the person to do it, but if we're, if we're have them on the phone, I feel like we can pull this off. Um, make it so that they still have to put in their credit card, even though they don't pay anything for the first month. Can we do that? You know, if that form works that way, I need to, <laughs> I wanted to ask Jack about it before this, but you know what I'm saying? Like, no, some. Well, some I would put a disclaimer out. on it. Like, in order to uh, get your free trial, you have to authenticate your identity. That way, it protects them, it protects us, and put something in there, um, you know, cancel at any time. That way, they have a peace of mind saying, oh, I'm not obligated, you know, but at right. the same time, they know that they're going to be charged at the end of the trial. I mean, that's pretty yeah. standard practice. Right. It is. I think having to enter your credit card turns a lot of people off. It turns a lot of people off. So that's the thing is like, what is your objective? Is it to just close deals or is it to um, market? You know, is marketing really your objective? Because if it's just marketing, then we can just give away free trials all day long and get people in there. Um, no credit card required. And then what the good thing about that is that we check, we capture their, email and phone number in the form. That's what they'd have to give us. No credit card, but once we have their email and phone, then we can sell to them. But you see what I mean? Like that's more of a marketing approach. If we were going strict sales, it's like, no, you gotta be somewhat serious about buying to take us up on our trial. You gotta be serious enough to get the credit card. And we can, we can also set up a reminder that says your free trial ends in one week. Definitely need to do that. Need to be totally customer um, friendly and just like not try to rip them off at all. Like give them a countdown, give them all the warnings that we need to. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, but man, there's so much that we could be doing and we could teach publishers how to do this, how to have their own Zoom webinars where they talk about 
it's you know it's kind of merging with Fridays with the Wave a little bit, you know, in the way that he shows off the website. But um, and Facebook, yeah. you're going to do a webinar, put it on Facebook, you know, put it on your social. Oh yeah, yeah. All this stuff is marketing material. Um, you know, even if you're talking about an article and you have the article on your screen uh, and you're behind the paywall, that's that's fine. It's it's not really content. It's um, it's just promoting uh, the subscriptions. So very cool. That's great feedback. Do you guys have any other comments on that? No, I think it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, I think this could be uh, very exciting. So we're going to be launching this um, at these Alabama papers this week, uh, probably starting with email. But, you know, just for anyone watching this, any customers or any, uh, you know, even non-customers, this is something that we're, you know, going to develop as as a service to some degree. It just depends on how um, complex it is, I guess. But uh, I think at a minimum, showing people how to merge their data or possibly even creating a plugin that automatically does this so that they can come in and identify strong leads and call them themselves would be very cool. Um, okay, how to sell subscriptions. That's that. <laughs>